Thanks for staying with us. All right, so before the break, we're talking about mothering our husbands and the perception they get from us. And maybe that's part of the reason, the causes of this um, um, sexual deficiency that we're talking about. Go ahead, YK. And I had a story to tell. Because, you know, I, every time I've seen Obi Ajulu on the table, <laughs> I go, no, let me talk. I say, ha, gal. Then they now invited us to La Campagne for their anniversary or something. Yeah. I can't remember what we went for, but we went. Ah, that's how I saw Mr. Ogbo in action. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ogbo was talking. Ah! And BC kept quiet. Oh, but actually, didn't say. Wim, wim. <laughs> so just looking. <laughs> he was talking. I said, eh. so, ah, so when we entered the room, I said, ah, you see you. Did you see that? Oh, but didn't say. Yeah, oh, but you will be shouting on set. <laughs> when... All our, uh, all our throats will be out. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let, let me finish. Let me. When her husband was there, she calmed down. Wim, yeah. wim. Did not come out of her mouth. <laughs> he was he was just talking. <laughs> right. So that's the feminine energy that's that has been one that she's, she's a damsel. Example that's just that observing. She's yeah. Giving that's us that. Right. I okay. I agree that it is true. Okay. <laughs> because, because I've seen it. <laughs> because I've seen it. All right. Let me come to you, Sakwe. So um so I I'll, I'll say this that oh my yeah. Titi, please thanks for calling for holding for a minute. Good morning, Titi. Are you there? Good morning, lady. You're alive. Go ahead, please. All right, thank you. I want to contribute to the topic that we're talking about. Please. And it's actually a very serious topic. And it happens to a lot of people you would not know. I first know somebody that has been married and the person has only had sex for, with her husband only twice in two years. And I was talking with them because they're church people and I'm in charge of the um, relationship and all of that in my church. So I was trying to talk to the female, the, more, the wife. What's going on? Is it that he doesn't like you? Is it that he doesn't like it? I was even thinking, are you sure he's not turning to the other side? Are you sure he's not attracted to female and all of that? Because I was worried. And what she told me was that he doesn't know how to go about it. <coughs> that they have to kind of even teach each other where the place is, where to go in and all of that. So I feel like... Before marriage, this thing should be taught in church. We should mm. stop talking about it, not okay, sacred topic. I think we should really talk about it. Mm. If you are going to marry this baby, maybe you should check out the package and then I don't know how it's going to be taught. Yeah. But we need to talk about it. And after marriage is important too. Please don't just leave them married. Let's have this after one year counseling. Let somebody talk the real thing. Let's let us be practical. Yeah. And seriously, men don't do this sex right. thing that females put on Instagram when they don't have money. Mm. Instagram life is somehow fake. Right. Because people are having fantastic, oh, I'm not saying, but I'm saying 20% of people are fantastic, the glamorous way you're thinking. People Thank are you very much, Titi. You see, Titi just talked about cluelessness mm. on the part of a lot of men. Ignorance. Mm. Ignorance. Yeah. Mm. They, they actually don't know. Yeah. Mm. And they are, too, um, they are too egoistic to admit or to seek knowledge. Because as a man, I'm expected to know. So they can't come across as if I don't know. And you don't, have, you don't know, Jack. Mm -hmm. you know? So instead of them to go and seek knowledge, they rather just keep quiet and then suffer their wife. Who then is, so cannot... So th that was why them. I had to address our caller that called him from Taraba. Because the way he made the statement was a fact to him. Mm. And I'm sure many people listening to him will be validating that fact, thinking that it was the fact. It's not. And... We need to keep on using this platform to share that knowledge. Um, we, we get this feeling like you cannot, you can't switch, you can't make the switch, what BC was saying, make the switch. And five years ago, I attended Tara's <coughs> 40th birthday. She was doing a countdown a full week. And, and her husband spoke about the fact that um, what, what one of the things that kept, keeps their marriage was the fact that um, Tara is strong Tara outside. And Tara at home makes him feel like He's the hero. Like, he's the king. Mm. He said, I feel needed mm. when, when I'm with her. Mm. Like, and I like that feeling. Yeah, so when, when, he, when he broke down how he felt and how feeling that way helps him feel more like I'm contributing towards you. Like, I know that she understands business. She does business on a big scale. She's Makes doing money. deals. She's traveling to bring in products. But... When, I, when she comes to the house, she's talking to me. She, there's a difference in how she listens and how she integrates. And mm. 
When I heard it, I understood it. I did not understand how to implement it completely, but I knew it was powerful to a man because it was one of the key things he mentioned as a strength in their marriage. Yeah. I think when we're having conversations like this, we've gone away from the issue of sexual, um, um, the fact that they were not having sex for three, for three years to all the underlying issues that can that lead to course, this. Yes. We have a culture of not talking about our challenges. We have a culture of not talking about the other room matters. Mm -hmm. We also have a culture of feeling like it is an intimate thing. So it That's is only science. meant for, yes, it's only meant for the other room. And for those that are religious, it is worse. There are people that have understood how to discuss sexual therapy professionally. Like they would break it down in a professional way and they should be consulted. There are seasons in marriage. Yeah. People go through marriage and there are times when everything is shocking them. And at times they are not interested. And they are having those seasons. Three hours is too long ago. Having those seasons yeah, is normal. It's normal. And you, it's important to have knowledge to navigate those seasons. Yeah. Yeah. So if we all sit down and feel like we have it all figured out, we are missing out on no, the opportunity. Does, yeah. I want us to stay yeah, on but the three years is too long. Ago. No, three years. Why can't you? No, no, why can't Why can't Somebody Nine. actually told me three years. I know somebody who was supposed to be a coach. I mean, the, was, was a coach. And we're just having a conversation. And he did tell me three years mm -hmm. because he was going through an issue at the time. I mean, mm -hmm. but eventually they, they resolved their issue. But just like sometimes you, can, you can't, we can't put a figure to it. Sometimes okay. it's okay. longer. But I was going to talk about the spiritual part. Because aside from the ignorance, some people feel that because I am on the mountain, because I am close to God, because there are lots of, I really, I, I, I hate to say this, but there are lots of ministers, families that are going through this. Yes, yeah. so I don't want to say pastor because everybody has brandished the word pastor. But, mm -hmm. but when I say minister, it could be minister in songs, ministry in ushering, ministry yeah. in pulpits, different kind of ministers, people who are spiritual leaders are going through this where they, they try to consecrate themselves <laughs> for the Lord. And then their wives are being denied. And then the women cannot open their mouth so say it. to say it because they feel like they will think I am, it's that the devil has taken, taken over my over. mind. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are living in serious, um, she's living in serious pain. We've had these stories, but people do it on a hush hush. We need to normalize like, saying more pastors being intimate more or more being you see, close. Why, if I say three years is too long. Yeah. Three years is too long without communicating yeah. the to challenge. your partner yeah. Yeah. that this is the reason. This is the I, I, either I have to go to the mountain or I'm on the mountain or I'm under the mountain. Mm -mm. You have to communicate. Yeah. That's why I say communication is key. Yeah. Don't tell me three years is not too long. It is too long mm -hmm. without telling me why you are, you are, you are not coming near me for yeah. three years. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying three years is not too long. I'm just saying let's not put a figure to it. It could be any time. It could be three yeah. years. People actually have gone through that. And it's wrong, you're it right. Is. So I saw a picture of, um, so my pastors hug and kiss each other on the pulpits. And when, when they do it, they're like, oh. And they said, why, why, why can't we do it? So, because if we don't normalize it, it will look like it is a it's strange a thing. thing. Mm. Someone, um, Pastor Godman Akilabi, posted a picture after a very heated spiritual conference, kissing his wife. <clears throat> On Instagram, like, which pastor is that one? Godman Akilabi, Elevation really? Church. Really? Not like a video, but it was a picture. Kiss. It wasn't like all those, pet. not a pet. You know? So when I saw the picture, I was like, pastor. the spiritual part of me was like, ah, ah pastor. And on that, I said, after a, a heated. heated conference, like, and thinking about it now. It was important that he puts it out there. Sorry, I don't want to see so my pastor kissing. So that we stop. Right. I don't want to see my pastor kissing. I'm sorry. But I, I told you I, about the that Bishop Samuel that we I met. We should stop it. We should normalize it. I don't want to see my pastor kissing. That's why they don't talk about it. It's not a human being. It's a human being. No, listen. You, uh, listen, you, uh, listen, you have a symbol. There's a symbol that is attached to you. I don't want to You are the people that are... Giving them the symbol. Yes. You are the people spoiling you. You symbolize... I told you. I saw... I met that bishop. You symbolize... Um, 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 the, the Holy Spirit. You symbolize wow. God on earth. You wow. symbolize everything in the word of God. Wow. So you are the person we look at. I don't want to see my pastor kiss. What is that? Mm. You see, wow. you are the people spoiling this Thank world. Thank you, YK. Tell them. You are spoiling this world. Did you ever see? Did you ever see? Let me just keep quiet. Yeah, the ones making them hypocrites. I told you I met a bishop. Mm -hmm. I met him and his wife. They, they have been married for a long time. And yes. the way they were holding themselves, the love that they were showing each other. That's fine. Yeah. Not public display of affection like she just described. No. He said, post accelerate romantic moves with my girlfriend. Oshé. Grateful to God for the successful let me see. I bring it. Let me Since see. I'm going to this church next Sunday. Bring now, that was a peck. Now, 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 peck. <laughs> was, was that, no, that, that was not a peck. peck. 
It was not. Don't miss them. Oh, I was opening it back for you. Okay. So let me explain. I want to see. So go ahead. So go ahead. Right here. Go ahead, Mikey. Uh, oh, uh, that's so that was sweet. sweet. And we need to normalize it. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. okay. That's a peck. That's a peck on the lips. That's a peck on the lips. That's what a kiss. You know what a kiss is. You know what a kiss is. This is this. This is fine. My pastor does this. It's perfectly fine. But I don't want. When he said kiss, I was thought it was geese. This was not geese. I knew I peck on the lips. Like next, so as we're saying. So the point. So the point I'm trying to make is that the spiritual part of it is hard, mm. and, and 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 we must also also help these women. The women, the wives of these ministers, mm. they are, many of them are actually suffering. Okay. So, may I say God. that um, when it comes to marriage relationships and issues, the scripture said, and two of them shall be naked mm. and not ashamed. Do you know what that means? It's not just about lying on the bed after the action, Aprita. right? <laughs> it means that two of you can get to a place where you are vulnerable with each other where you are able to share with each other. Okay. And if you do not have that vulnerability in that marriage, you have to rethink what you're doing in that relationship. Because there, must be, there will be times in every relationship where you, are, you, you have issues that you need somebody to unburden to. Right. And if you cannot unburden to your partner, uh, the point that she raised, you know, when some things are going wrong and a man is afraid of how to communicate it to the wife because of how she would feel, it's also something that we need to begin to work on. If I cannot tell you that, brother, what you just did now did not reach anywhere, I don't know what I'm doing with you. Mm. Because I will not tell you, I will tell an outsider. Mm. Mariah, guess what? He was, just, he was just wasting his time. I did not mm. feel one thing. Mm. I can share with friends. And I cannot share with you. There's a problem. Yeah. There's a problem. So we need to begin to ask yourselves yeah. questions like, am I in this for real? Right. Am I naked with this guy mm. and not ashamed? Am I ready? To be to, yes. Yeah, am yeah. I ready to be there? Absolutely. Am I ready to go there with this yeah. person? Mm. If I'm not ready to go there with this person, I don't know what you're doing in that relationship. Yeah. We need to reevaluate it. That's and coach. also, talking. and yeah. also, <laughs> when these things come, mm. whether it hits you or not. So naturally, uh, one of my long languages is words of affirmation. Right. That means that when you say things that are not pleasant, it hits me. Mm. Right. When it hits you. Mm. The first thing you ask yourself because you have chosen to trust this person is, where is this coming from? What's the intention behind this? Mm. There's nothing my husband will tell me today that will take it upside down. You know why? Because I trust his intention. Yes. I know that he will not see fire and push me into it. Mm. If he complains about it, it's because he wants me to be better. Yeah. Do you trust your partner enough to understand that he, she's not just saying it to make you feel like, ah, these two minutes that you just did now is not enough to bring down your ego. Mm. She's saying it from a point of, we can actually work on it to improve it. Mm. Can you trust your partner? Then you, you can trust your partner and still be hurt our, by our what producer. they said. No, you'll be you hurt. You can hurt. No, listen now. I you said, can have a color. Uh, it's, it's valid, though. I'm saying it's valid. I am hurt, mm. right? But I would think that mm. because I trust your intention, mm. I will work on my being hurt and mm. move away from it. Everybody gets hurt from time to time. So no, our, our producer is asking, to move away from it. At how many months should you be worried? So, <laughs> so, 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 so let, me, let me quickly say this. Before you because say that, let me take this call. Ola Rewaji from London. Thanks for calling. You're live. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, guys. sir. Yes. Um, it's three things that I, I, I can point out here. I think number one... Um, my sister has already said it, and hear me Kuti. Then the first one that I will put through are people always, they don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Either the man is attractive to the same um, female and uh, male, that is a different bogey. Mm -hmm. No, people don't want to talk about it, yeah? The it. man might be getting satisfied outside, yeah? Or the, uh, the lady, the wife, attractive to another lady. Mm. When she gets home, she says, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to. Because she has already satisfied herself. Mm. That's number one. Mm. Number two, um, my sister, Yemi uh, Kuti, said money. You know, sometimes maybe 20% of that we carry the money wife. If you are not happy at home, some people, their body doesn't move. I agree with that. Then, number three, the way you enjoy yourself in the bedroom, 
the, the, the wife might like to go into the deep, uh, you know, leave the place. Hey, Uncle, Do please, this. it's not it's breakfast. Hey, Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Larry, well, your yeah, breakfast show, please, take it easy. I'm coding it. That's why I'm coding it. I'm coding it. I'm coding it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not coding it enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then the man doesn't like it. Mm. And the women sometimes like the other way, like the man likes it. So they are not compatible so. in that Education. area. Thank you, Mr. Larry, Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. So I think the point I want to make is that there are, you must learn what satisfies each other and you do what satisfies each other properly. And there's a journey. <laughs> so um, I think it was, I'm trying to, it was um, Sorry, lots of seven years. No, okay. I was trying to calculate the time. It was, mm -hmm. it was about seven, eight years ago that I um, did NLP life coaching and it put me under a lot of pressure to, I felt like I was not doing the right things because just my, eye, my eyes became open to all the things that how we should be and it's changed the dynamics of my marriage for a while mm. because i was now critiquing every little thing mm. and if what should be a blessing now became a challenge and the reason i'm saying this is because people are, people are watching this show and listen to bc and extrain their marriage through the lens of this new knowledge mm. and it might cause crisis instead of blessing if you are not if you're not wise in how you expect the implementation of what you now see as what should be the ideal mm. So when we get the knowledge, how are we going to implement it in Filter our marriage? Filter it through your yes. own experience. How do we implement it to our marriage? So you, you want mm -hmm. that naked, unashamed honesty in your marriage. Are you already there? Or are you the problem? Or are you now seeing the partner as the problem? Are you vulnerable with the partner? Or are you taking... You, are, you want to be able to give the feedback of two minutes not being good enough, but you don't want to take it back off. Your, cook, your, food, your food is not sweet enough. So if we want to be... Open, how far are we willing to go with being that open? That's one side. Another side is give yourself the time to grow through that journey and don't jump the pace. Yeah. So you might be in a space where you and your husband are still struggling with your communication. Yeah. You might need to be exposing him to more of the knowledge you're getting. You might need to find him a coach or someone that you believe he respects enough to advise him. It might be you that needs to receive that knowledge. And the man is wondering, how do I process this information yeah. to my partner? Be willing to wait through that journey till you get it. But three years is definitely yeah, too absolutely. long. Yeah. So I think, I think it's important, as, as, as we're gradually coasting home mm. for this topic, um, a few things I have learned personally is I now, from, from BC's mm. coaching, is that I need to bring out my feminine energy. <laughs> I have a bit of masculine. Because, I mean, I remember when, when because I called my husband brown, brown, brown. I think my father, was someone that just called me, auntie. Are you calling him brown like everybody? Say, yeah, he's brown now. I say no. You have to find a different because That's you it. are you are you are just so your your presence your your well, what you've done what the, you the do, way you call does not invoke doesn't invoke emotion. that fem, yes it doesn't invoke femininity it doesn't mm. invoke invoke it doesn't your invoke role that, yeah mm. so it's too it doesn't plain invoke love yes yes <laughs> so I just call him brown brown you know yeah. but you see it's things that we're learning so and from this show and from the conversation with BC Mariah needs to turn on her feminine energy. To be able to get to the you point have. where I don't even have any energy. Everybody, <laughs> everybody has. Everybody has. Everybody find it. I have. Everybody Who find has. it? And she let's find it. Let's find it. Not now. No, no, no. Oh, oh, not not. oh God, yeah, Mariah, try, try to be feminine now. Just. I don't know. <laughs> uh, she has to go through Hi, some, darling. some things. <laughs> <laughs> she has to go through some set therapy. Man, it's hard. Yes. Yeah, so, so, um. What I've learned in life, and one of the reasons why I don't um, blame people for my reality and how my life turns out mm. is because I take responsibility right, for my yeah, actions. Right. And in taking responsibility for it, we're always running away from the hard times. Yeah. They will come. For anyone who has noticed, okay, probably from what they have said on TV today, mm. ah, I think in X-ray in my life, this is what I've been doing wrong, this is what I've been doing wrong, and you're ready to make a change, you will hit hard times. Yeah. Because you are the only one that heard it. Your husband mm. did not hear it with you. Mm. So going to cause that change is not automatic. Mm. You will take a process. You need to be patient about it. Mm. You need to really know what you're getting into. You right. need to seek for more information and more clarification because there's no one size fits all. I don't yeah. tell people, if you come to me, I'll give you this blanket and everybody can use it and it works. No, you have the capacity to bring out your solutions by yourself. Right. The only thing I will do is to help you get there. So if you 
pick an information that I present in this kind of thing, and you run away with it. BC, I said, BC, I said, you should not put me in problem in your house. So <laughs> okay. I did not say yeah. I was giving my opinion. Yeah. If you need further clarifications, you can get always one come on back. One coaching. And get one on one, and then understand how to apply it with your current right. experiences mm -hmm. and situation. Oh. Do not blame anybody. They said, and I did, and it backfired. You did okay. not hear from me. You did okay. not do it well. Let me take, I have to read this message. Yakub, thanks for calling. You're live. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, good morning, everyone. This matter, I know they concern Yakub now, but go ahead. Hello, good morning. Go ahead, Yakub. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Mariah, you see, this uh, live show, this story topic uh, is very, very important. Uh, because uh, somebody called from London earlier, and then he said that uh, we are live shows, there are some certain things that uh, uh, we cannot say. Uh, Moraya, you see, this very particular topic, for me, it affects a lot of, quote-unquote, religious people. Religious people, because uh, there is something, that, that some, there are some certain people in uh, Islam, you call them Eleha, I don't know maybe you know the meaning of what I'm saying. They pass through a lot. They pass through a lot. Uh, and then one of your, your, your person in that studio said, how many months? that somebody needs to wait before he or she started complain. I think one month is okay. After one month, something will happen. You have to complain. Let me give you a, 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 a typical example here. Even I'm using myself, that's my, that's my experience. There was a time in the other room, let me use that word, in the other room, I asked my partner to do some other way, right? She was not there, ah, I found allergy. Hey, where did you learn like this from? This one from? I, I, I told her, come. Does it mean because I'm a far, I shouldn't know this kind of a thing? He said, where did you learn this from? I said, okay, don't, wait, wait, I'm coming. And then I said, I have, I have one book. And I brought that book out. I show her different, different position. It said, yes, it, how did you get it? So, there are some certain things that we, we people are honestly know what, because they, 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 they claim to be a religious person and then you don't need to know, you don't need to know that. After one month, if nothing happens, you have to begin to complain. Ask question. Why did you not touch me? And then if you does not do that, you have to, you have to know the reason why it does not do that. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you very much, Thank Yaku. you. Thank that was you. very insightful for an imam yeah. to speak like that. Yes. That's quite insightful. Yes. And especially for hijabites. Mm. Because people always feel like, oh, because they are so... They're religious and they're not into, into, into stuff like that. But something. he's saying that, listen, you, once you are in your room, that you, you, are, you can explore. I wish Nima was here, but unfortunately she's not here today. It's nice to hear from her. Yeah, um, I'm sure she's listening. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> she Google doesn't have what she's doing. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this comments. is Corinthians 7, 5. It says, do not deprive one one another except perhaps by agreement mm. for a limited time yeah. that you may devote yourselves to, to God. Yeah. But, then, but then come together again so that Satan may not tempt you mm. because of your lack of self-control. Mm. Agreement is the solution anytime, any day. Mm. That's what don't I scatter your home implied. in the name of foolishness mm. that's not spirituality. BC mentioned that that's what I earlier. Um, what I, I also think that it's important to, have a, to be a member of a community. So um, there, there's something that Maria was saying that when she started the show, she spoke about rapper. I think YK bought her. Were you the one who bought you the first? Somebody bought me some yeah. somebody, on, somebody from one of the ladies then bought you a shot for you to wear in the house. The power of community and the right community is that you get positive influence. You get to share. Because it's not everything that you can, you should even be sending to a random person or telling a random another person. I've spoken to Nima and I know the way Nima coaches people within those, their sisters group. So they are a jabite, but... They are doing, they are performing some stunts. Ah, yes. In, and, they, and they explain it in detail yeah. within yeah, that community. community yeah. Because it is, a, it is a safe space. Mm. They talk about what to do, what not to do. But you can be a Muslim, but you are not in a community that you can be vulnerable with. Yeah. So you are a Christian, you go to church, but you don't attend those meetings with men where men talk about these things, yeah. you are missing out on the opportunity to see that you are not the only one suffering the problem or get solutions. So I think that this isolation thing of it's a private thing should be, we should reduce it and be in a space where you can talk to your yeah. friends about things like this. We are all uh, in a slimmer yeah. version of ourselves this year. Why? 
We're yeah, in a community yeah. and he's rubbing off each, each other. other that everybody is watching this, their ways. You see, saying, eh? you see, in modern churches, like this is your elevation church, this is your, what's your own this day, time. you know, there's modern, you you know, you there are some churches that they're very orthodoxish and they are, and it's hard to get that community of more, I don't want to say more modern perspectives. You no, know, so yeah. they'd like to do things in a very, um, uh, what's the word? Um, if, what's that word for Republicans? Conservative. Yeah. Mm. They're conservative. very conservative, conservative Christians. You might build your own. You know? So in that conservativeness, it's hard for you to be expressive. Mm. So you, you, are, you, are, you, you, are, you look very empowered and expressive because of the kind because of church of your you church. go to. Yeah. Yeah. But there are some people that go to that church where you dare not you don't allow that kind the of S word. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. So, so wow. that, that's the stigma and shame around sex. And that's why a lot of women... Like but is it an English word now? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I did not explain it, I just said it. You know? So, and that's why a lot of um, Christians are not forthcoming. Because there's this uh, sin, mm. it's been baked in between sin. Mm. So baked in between sin that even married partners find it difficult to explore their bodies because yeah. they are told that this one is sin. And where they saw it in the Bible, me, I've not seen, I've been reading that yeah. Bible since. That this one is sin and this one is not sin. So there's this, no, we can't do this. We can't get to this point. We can't, we can't talk about it. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. And then you're expecting people to not suffer in okay, that kind married, of... Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not possible. Let me pause you for a second. Okay. Sorry, Mabino. I have a call from Jeremiah. Thanks for calling. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you, you're live. Yeah, um, fantastic show. I must commend all of you for the point. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I want to I want to say thank you for to BC for mentioning that talk about men being trained to box, you know, whatever they are feeling, mm. because that has been one of the reasons why you have men battering women, men abusing women emotionally because they have not been trained to really bring out what is in them. Yeah. You know, this woman just brought out what is in her. We don't really know what is in the mind of the man to even help him. So there is help available, but it's very difficult for you to even offer the help because you don't even know what is really wrong with him. Mm. And I would say that every behavior we have observed with our five senses is just an external expression of what has What's already been on? happening in the mind of the yeah. person neurologically. True. True. So these behaviors just give us like an information about what is happening. And until really? we do what this is said about going to therapy, going to seek help, you would never even know how to even help them because one party is willing, the other party is not willing. Mm. Okay, so I, I love the fact that um, people are being enlightened to understand that their behaviors, they are not their behaviors. Yeah. Mm. They are just expressing what has happened to them over time, okay. which with help. If they go seek for help, they can be able to get help and then get out of that thing. All right, thank you very much, Jeremiah. So yes, if, I was, if, I was this adding... This lady that sent us the email, if she, she's listening to the show and she tries to communicate with her husband now... And he shuts and, it down. And he shuts her down. If she refuses to get therapy, he refuses everything. Yeah. What does she do? He has question. to decide. Mo moving into that uh, phase that's now. The yeah. So the, the choice he still has at the end of the day. She has to decide, do I stay in this relationship sexless, no intimacy, and face my life? There are people who have done it. Well, we should just say cheating is off the table. Yeah. Okay, let's say, okay. Cheating in the marriage, unless it's agreed by both of them. It, what if the man has been cheating? Hmm. Uh, well... But we don't know. The, two don't wrongs know. don't make it right. I know, exactly. but <laughs> so there are people who have come to an. See, marriage is changing these days, and it's unfortunate, right? The marriage we were taught, mm. the marriage we all looked to have, was mm. the marriage of that close knit yeah. mommy, daddy, mm -hmm. children raised in a sane society. But right now, we've seen marriages that the wife, husband and wife, we decide, you are going outside, Abby. Can I go? We are not leaving this house because we want to raise our children. The children will not know. Just carry your craze far from home. I carry my craze far from home. And they have that agreement. We've seen open marriages. Unfortunately, I heard that even in Nigeria, open marriages are working. Yeah, no. they, some people spotted some it's, persons, some prominent persons who are actually doing it in Nigeria. So if she has that conversation with her husband, the husband says, Sio, I don't feel anything for you again. One of the reasons I'm still keeping you in this house is because I don't want to destabilize our children. Can you find a way to help yourself? Will you call it cheating? Mm. No. They, they must get to that Remember what point. I said. Yeah. Remember, Mike, I said if she tries to communicate with her husband. Mm. And he shuts, and he it shuts down. her down. Mm -hmm. So she hasn't got the solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's she, she hasn't got the solution from him. Mm -hmm. 
because he is not willing to do yeah. the work. To seek, yeah. So he, he has um, to help. choose. She, she, has, she to choose. has to choose. Mm -hmm. Should I exactly. stay here and live like this I, for the rest I'm of my life? What I said, in that case, I live. Um, cheating is not an option. Yes. You know? yeah. But she I can said. wait it out. Because some people do say, for the first, first uh, few years of my marriage, nothing happened, but eventually, things got, maybe financially, financially stable, financial stability came back, mm. and things got, the circumstances changed. And maybe that... So, that so I have a problem happen. with that, uh, right? If I am married to you, mm. right, and you have financial issues, mm. and I can, you cannot trust me enough to hold your hand, mm. you cannot trust me enough to put your head on my chest, mm -hmm. that I will give, I will pray with my heart, I will lift up my hands up to heaven, that God should come and bless you, that we'll walk through it together. I don't know what I'm doing in that relationship. I honestly don't understand. Okay. So if you, I know men, naturally, when they have issues, they like to isolate it's themselves mm -hmm. and solve it. Women are more... Uh, connected, open to, open to sharing. But if you're married mm. to me, I'm mm. supposed to be your safe refuge for crying mm. out loud. Mm. So if you can sort your issues by yourself, wait till you are ready, you are sorted before you come to me, then I am useless in that relationship, mm. unfortunately. Okay. But and I can't be there. That would be the ideal. <sighs> that, there. That's ideal, and very few have ideal. Yeah. And many people have found ways to manage and maximize what yes. they have. Some people just because they are married to people who are, have, have their traumas that they probably would never get um, healed from. Healed from. Mm -hmm. So you as a person married into that relationship would have to find a way to deal with the challenges you would always have to face. Um, so let's provide solutions within that context. In providing solutions within the context of you, you're, you're married to someone mm -hmm. and there's this three years gap and you are now faced with, he's not going to get professional help in any form. No, don't expect somebody to make that decision for you because the good and the bad, you have to carry it. If you are displeased with the way things are, how, how, what, what are you, how far are you willing to go to, to change the circumstances? For some, it is, I'll leave this marriage so that I can have peace, so that I can have joy and I can open myself up to the other person. Maybe, there's an, maybe my match is right out there. You know, some people believe in the rib of the rib, twin flame, all those different things. So maybe that my own person is out there and I am sticking to this because it is safe and I understand it and I might be missing out on the better, sweeter marriage that is waiting for me in the future. If you, ha if you can convince yourself of that, you might be taking the option of divorce. And if you feel that I will be in this marriage and my solution will be cheating, that's not right. That's, That's not, not right. Yes. I would rather your solution is I will step out of this space. Either you step out or you manage it. Or because manage listen, it. as I said, we've had mothers and people who have been in this situation where they just stayed there and they were there forever. They just accept. They just shut their, their hearts That's and minds. That's part of their life. Yes. Because right. I know people who... The painful thing. They, to if the man is to cheating... A modern, wait, wait. Listen, to a modern woman, it's a painful thing. But back then, the our mothers is, accepted yes. it and they were okay with it. If a man is cheating and you are supposed to be there without resorting to cheating, why you are we leave. deceiving? Leave now. You should leave. But some people don't want to leave. Mm. So, it's also your choice. Anyways, some people have don't to want to up. leave. Uh, Let me just list I'm, I'm still then. saying two wrongs don't make a right. Mm -hmm. Because he's cheating doesn't mean you have children mm -hmm. that are looking up to you. Wow. Yeah. Right, so let me, I think I have many things. I have about 10 no, things that have been said out already. <laughs> so let me just listen to so the causes of these no, um, right. issues we, had, we, discussed, we discussed about. If you, have, if you pick one or two causes from here, you can then find a solution. Solutions are, we'll, we'll try to see, discuss a few solutions now. Very quickly, we have, um, if, number one is no money financial. Number two, sexual incompatibility. Number three, um, she needs to check herself. Number four, unsettled differences. Number five, sexual orientation. Maybe they become gay. Number six, infidelity. Number seven, spirituality, because they are, they are, they are very spiritual. <laughs> Religious. Number eight, uh, mothering him, which was the big one. Mm -hmm. Number nine is being... Um, Ignorant or clueless. And number 10 is uh, multiple sexual experience in the past. So these are the 10 things we have, we have identified this morning as causes a full why people... As in... Serious class. You know, so now, solutions has been conversation. Mm -hmm. Have a talk. That's one. And then you decide what you want to do. Communication is key. Like that's the only way you can really solve this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, and or so after, after, we tried, after communication has broken Therapy. down... You can, now, you can seek therapy. Mm -hmm. Therapy is one way to get professionals in this regard. But well, you see, the women are always willing to take professional help. The men? the men are hardly. So we need more men in this space to come out and speak. Mm. We need more philadrotes. We need more Larry Lushalas. We need more of um, showing We need more, we need more people, men, men yeah. who are speaking and helping other men in this regard to, so, to, to help them resolve these issues. Mm. And then after therapy, then you as an adult, keep, communicate, keep the communication. You also make your own decision. Mm -hmm. Once you know that the problem is not from you, mm -hmm. because you've tried, you've opened the communication, you have 
brought out your feminine energy. Mm -hmm. You have done you all have that everything. You, can. you have discussed, you called everybody, come and help you, and nothing has happened. You then decide, I either wait it out and just accept it, lock my body to and shut down and just raise my children and be, in, and be happy. Or what a life. You decide, no, you can't say what a life. But I, I, I think some people actually agree with that. Some people are saying she, she, she cannot deny that. That's, 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 that's her. But there are some people. It's fine. That, it's fine. I know someone personally, like seriously, the man has begged and begged and begged, let's go for counselling, and the woman has refused to. Mm. He's a woman that doesn't want to go this Yes, she doesn't want to go for counselling, and this is the issue. Intimacy is the issue as well. So, and the reason she doesn't like it. She doesn't. She doesn't like it. She's she's always overworked and. She's not in the mood. So they've, yeah. they've found a way to keep on resolving yeah. the issues. I, I actually caught the person cheating, yeah. the man, and I now, like, I prefer, pref preferred solution, and the solution was, was not going to work. So the man said I, the solution for him was to continue cheating until she wakes she, up. She wakes up and gets ready. I feel sad, but yeah. ah, there was no there's a comment, comment message Jamila. for you, Mariah. Uh, I can read the message Nam. well. Read the message well. It says, <laughs> Mariah, you can call him Brown Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> No, actually, I've, saved the name. I've saved his name, Brown Sugar, on my but phone. But you never use the sugar. Brown I sugar. called his name, is Save Brown Sugar, on my phone. Yeah, brown sugar. sugar. Brown Sugar, never on my phone. That's the sugar. <laughs> Please, start and my husband is from Ekiti. They have a way no. of saying, all right, Ekiti, they don't know that. Bring out the romance in him. Listen, all these Ekiti men, they don't understand. Stop saying that. Let him be strong outside. Husband is very, very... He will not be lovey-dovey inside. We'll tell you, mega, 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 mega. Forget that thing. Activate your sugar, please. You will see that. You will just smell. Bring out the sugar in me. Okay, we'll try. You'll be melting. You'll be melting. You'll be melting. You'll be melting. Yeah. Right. Then you just go home today. A few times you won't tr initially and trust you like that. Hey, What's Obi going on here? But uh, Obi Adjuni, it's, it's not the way she will say brown sugar. No, it's brown, brown sugar. sugar. Brown we sugar. sugar. Brown Change sugar. the voice. It's brown, yeah, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh -huh. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to it. You forget you are 62 years old. Right? Okay. Calm down. Be long suffering. Patient. Keep yeah. calling it. It will enter. Please, please, please. please. Can we not make my husband oh, no. become this? <laughs> <laughs> you have to run. Hey, brown sugar. <laughs> ah, you will think you want to beat me. Let me know why. Brown wants to beat me again today. <laughs> that is all we can take on today's show. Please, Mikey, go to your house. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>